Hello and welcome. The Old Flyers Group channel now has over 550 videos where you can see any manner of aviation subjects. If you like what you see, please comment, like and subscribe. It does help. I recently gave a talk on animals stowing away on aircraft. One such instance was when a stray cat boarded a Tarco Airlines aircraft, entered the cockpit and attacked the pilot. The pilot was forced into an emergency landing. Today I want to address why and how humans stow away an aircraft. There are two ways to travel on an aircraft. Within, as a crew member or passenger, or travelling on the outside. Travelling within is much safer. To travel as a passenger without a valid ticket involves fraudulently obtaining tickets. This has been estimated by Europol in 2015 that the cost to the travel industry has been 1 billion euros. Between the 16th and 20th of October 2017, 61 countries, 63 airlines, and six online travel agencies were involved in the 10th Global Airport Action Day. This took place at over 226 airports around the world. During the week-long operation, 298 suspicious transactions were reported and 195 people were detained, questioned by police and charged with the crime. Another way to get a free flight is to impersonate a crew member. In 2013, Philippe Genard tried to board a US Airways flight in Philadelphia by pretending to be an Air France pilot. He was arrested and removed from the captain's seat. The most successful imposter was Frank Abigail, subject to the 2002 film Catch Me If You Can. He posed as a pilot for Pan Am Airlines in order to scam free flights starting when he was just 16 years old. Eventually he was caught and when released from prison, founded a Bagnall and Associates to advise companies on how to prevent fraud. Ironic, isn't it? Stowing away on the outside of an aircraft is surprisingly common. You might think that this would be a problem confined to third world countries. Not so. Between 2004 and 2015, there were six stowaways detected on aircraft at UK airports. US Federal Aviation Administration state that 96 people hid in wheel wells on aircraft around the world between 1947 and 2012. This does not take into account the unfortunate, not discovered, who fell to their death. Of those who attempt to journey this way, it is estimated that one in four survive. A wheel well is a lethal place to be. If you avoid being crushed by the undercarriage, you face frostbite, hearing loss and hypoxia. Inside a wheel well, it is 20 degrees C warmer than outside, but when it is minus 60 degrees C outside, that you must survive a temperature that is colder than being in a freezer. Above 18,000 feet, hypoxia will render you unconscious so that when the wheel doors open, you will fall. A review of the known wheel well stowaways between 1946 and 2021 reveal these facts. There were 108 known stowaways, all male, which included 43 teenagers. The youngest was a startling nine years old, the oldest 35. The stowaways' nationalities varied so much that no conclusion could be made. 25 of these 108 survived the flights, yet only three were granted refugee status. It appeared that most were seeking a better life elsewhere. The aircraft involved were TC models 3, 8, 9 and 10, Super Constellation, Boeing 707, 737, 747, 767, 777, 787, Antonov 24, Airbus 320, 321, 330, 340, and MD-80 and MD-11. Risking your life by stowing away on an aircraft just isn't worth it. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment below. Thank you very much.